Hello! This video is a guide on how to connect to your 3D PotterBot printer over Ethernet connection. The connection type is very similar to our Wi-Fi printers. On screen now are the two connection methods, a direct connection or a networked connection through a router. We will be going over both in this video. First, we will be covering the direct connection method. For this setup, the printer is directly plugged into a computer over an Ethernet cable. We will be changing the computer's IP network settings so it can communicate with the printer. On Windows computers, you need to change the Ethernet adapter settings. You can get to the network settings through the settings menu or through your network icon on the start menu bar. Here is how to navigate the Windows 11 settings menu to get to the network connection window. If you are using a Mac computer, please check the video description for a guide on how to change your local IP address. In the Windows 10 network settings, you can click Change Adapter Options. You need to right-click the Ethernet adapter that is plugged into the printer and select Properties. You then need to select and edit the IPv4 settings. On screen now are the settings that need to be entered to connect to the printer. Please enter these values exactly as they are shown. These will be the same settings you need to use if you are on a Mac computer. Press OK and close the network settings. Open your web browser and in the address bar type 192.168.1.14. You should now be connected to the printer interface. Please note, if you need to use the computer's Ethernet port to connect to a different device or a router, you must change back the IPv4 settings and select Obtain IP Address automatically. Now we will discuss how to have the printer connect to an existing network. This allows extra benefits, such as any device on the local network can connect to the printer. It also allows all devices on the network to remain connected to the internet. The printer itself does not need an internet connection, and it does not try to connect to the internet. Everything stays on the local area network connection. To have the printer connect to your existing network, you need to find out what your default gateway address is or what your local IP address is. The easiest way to do this on a Windows computer is to open Command Prompt. In Command Prompt, type ipconfig and press Enter. Your computer's local area network IP address, as well as the default gateway address, should be displayed. The default gateway address must be known so we can program the printer to connect to this network. In this example, our default gateway address is 10.1.10.1. The IP address we program the printer to will be a variation of this, such as 10.1.10.50. This last number can be between 2 and 256. Please note, some routers reserve low or high numbers, so you may have to change the last number if it is not working. The easiest way to change the printer's IP address is to remove the SD card and open the config file. When reading the SD card on a computer, you should see four folders. Open the SYS folder and open the config.g file. If this is your first time opening a .g file, you must select the default program that it opens with. On Windows computers, we recommend selecting WordPad or Notepad. If you are on a Mac computer, you can use Text Edit or Text Editor. Once you have the config file open, we need to change the IP address setting. This is on command line M552. It is near the beginning of the file. Since our default gateway address is 10.1.10.1, we will be changing the printer's address to 10.1.10.50. Save the file and then put the SD card back into the printer. If a formatting message appears on screen when saving, make sure that the file is saved in its original format and not a text file. The file must remain as a .g file. With the SD card back in the printer, connect the printer to the router with an Ethernet cable and turn it on. Open a web browser and type in the IP address you programmed in the config file. The printer interface should load after a few seconds have passed. Any other computer on the local network can type in the printer's IP address to control it or upload G-code files. Thank you for watching.